have a case about a certain reform school called Smile Away. It's any of our business. Quite frankly, not. It's not even in our jurisdiction. However, some ugly truth about that place has come to my ears. Rumors coming from an intern claim that the latter could have been a very big shareholder and a close acquaintance of the drill sergeant, so in partnership with the Gossity Police Department. We are infiltrating two of you in there. Officers Jackson and Delgado will be assigned to the AT and to infiltrate the place I am assigning officers. Why then Waffle? What? Why not Judy and I? She fought with the same change. Do I really have to explain it to the two of you? Well, the drill sergeant is many things, but stupid is not one of them. As soon as he sees a bunny and a fox together, he will know exactly who's that, and will do an escape. That's not what we want. This is why you are not partners in this mission. Your name now will be Cory Fox, and why Wilfords will be James Wilson. So, off we go. Now get cranking. Hey Nick, I think you might know me already. I'm Boris Anderson and Bogo sent me as your contact in Vyoncity. Yes, Boris, I remember you, Pop. When was that? Oh, yes, that done you so long, sadly, Paul stole Harold's car and goes to have a considopia. Well, that brat has done that, and worse, believe me, if I may ask, what brings you to Gossity? Well, um, this is confidential info, but I'm going undercover alongside my partner, Walford, and Smile Away Reform School. Really? I've sent classic K. Luther, actually. I heard it's a very strict pleas for troublemakers. Yes, I know that, but what we're pursuing there are legal activities. There are rumors coming from an intern that the drill sarge comes up with rules such as physical punishment if fast are not finished, being watched like a hawk, no blinking, no breathing, no bathroom breaks, no eating and no drinking, also literal slave labor and other serious rights violations. However, what caught us more is that they might have had us with former Mayor Bellwether. You might remember her for the whole night hour scandal. This is some interesting piece of info. I suppose this is why Bogo asked me to give you this disguise. Good luck with the investigation. Thank you. <sighs> All right, Nick, it's time to get it over. All right, Nick, you're ready for our mission. Yeah, Walford, I'm ready for this. Hello, maggots. Welcome to Smile Away Reform School. You have been sent here by your parents, guardians, or bosses due to you being the worst troublemakers ever. You and got we seriously sent to need Smile Away too, Jamie. Here. Yes, classic Caillou, I've been sent here for throwing a paint bucket in the teacher's head. Hey, you two twats. No talking while I'm talking. Sure, sure yes, yes, sir. sir. The rules here at SESR are No talking while I'm talking, no burping, no farting, no blinking, no breathing, no moving, no glaring, no booing, no asking to use the bathroom, no contact with authorities and especially foreign intelligence agencies, no anger outburst, no squabbling, no violent fights, no food fights in the mess hall, and most importantly, you're expressly forbidden from escaping this facility. Do I make myself clear? Set do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Good. At least the fox here knows what making yourself clear means. What is your name? Corey Fox, sir. Now for our first assignment. You must run 500 miles around a facility. Everyone outside. Are you serious? This is pathetic, you can run faster than that. Before you run over. Walford, this is madness. I know Bobo wants evidence. Everything that happened here is evidence. Let's arrest you. Sorry about this. We still need documents, dummy. I have a plan. But I can't tell you right now. Me, unless more after whatever else leads us on lunch break. I'm there. Now let's get started with our second assignment. You will have to write a 1000 line essay on why Smile Away is good, all that in one minute. If you don't do that, or fail to in time you will face severe consequences. Wait you're Nick Wilde. What are you doing here? Hey why, I'm on investigation, undercover. So quiet before you blow my cover. Hey. What did I say about talking while I'm talking? Sir, I'm sorry, but she's the- I don't care. To the front now. But sir, I- I said now. No boots. I will show you what I mean by severe consequences. Oh! <laughs> May this serve as an example. I have the knowledge to keep you guys in the stomach. So better watch what you do. Now if you excuse me I gotta get the test papers. I expect you to start immediately when I'm back. Let me help you. 
Wow. What's with that nut job? Nakira cop, why don't you arrest him? I can't change this. Not yet. I need to get their documents and my info. Dora, it has been one minute and you haven't finished your essay yet. I have a big surprise for you. You are the worst student ever. Even a Amiga has higher intelligence. Alright, this assignment is over. Head to the cafeteria for your meals. We will be having an assignment soon after. Alright, you twats, you will have to solve these analytic geometry tasks in a minute. No. You're not the boss of us. Shut it, you maggot, before you get severely punished. I have the knowledge to kick you guys in the stomach. Now if you excuse me, I must get the test papers. This is absolutely nuts. Who my boss thinks he was to send me here. Hey kid, why have you been sent here? I was having some difficulty in math. So this man, the drill sergeant, comes saying that he has a math course with a foolproof method. My dad, believing it was just a math course temporary boarding school, signs it. So you're not a troublemaker then? No sir, not at all. What he's doing here is illegal. Yes, but what can we do about it? It's not like you and I can do anything. Well, actually we can, but you can't tell anyone this. I'm actually an undercover cop and on investigation. What's your name? Josh, sir. Alright, Josh, so uh, I'll ask you a few questions. You don't need to answer them if you don't want to, but that could be helpful to get you free. Alright, but we gotta be quick. Do you know where files and document containing inmates' infos are? It's in the files room. How many guards are near the files room? I don't know. Maybe six or seven. Are they heavily armed? No, they're not armed at all, but they know fighting skills. Be really careful with the drill sergeant from the other classroom, though. He has military training and fights like no one. Is there any way someone can make a contact with the outside world? Yes. There are payphones in the hall, but they're only he's four. coming back. Thanks, kidder. You'll be free soon. I promise you that. So, Nick, how it was? Were they very strict in your classroom just like in mine? You ask me that? I literally got a kick in the stomach for replying to classic Halo. I'm sorry that happened, man. But well, squeezed one of the interns for intel and turns out he's not a troublemaker. As a matter of fact, his dad was scammed. He thinking this place was a temporary boarding school. So they are scamming people too? Yes. By the way, I did some scanning near the files room. There's no way we can get in there because they know our faces. But I have a plan. Okay, what's your plan? Is there any way we can contact the outside world besides dispatch to the CPD? Yes, there are some payphone, but there's staff only. Maybe if you sneak in. You'd be able to. Perfect. So I'll contact Larry and he will sneak here tomorrow night. Grab the documents, and then we'll hand them to Bogle alongside the recorded evidence we got. Come on, pick that up already. Hey, look, I really hope this is not telemarketing cause I'm not in Larry's meaning. Nick. Oh, oh, man, how are you doing? Really sorry for the rude reply. I've been getting these spam calls like ten times a day. I understand, buddy, but I gotta tell you something urgent and it gotta be fast. Okay, okay, man. Well, your luck calling from a different number. Listen, I'm a smile away reform school. On an undercover investigation and I'm gonna need your help with something. Smile away. I'm okay, go have what you need. I need you to sneak inside their administration. And grab some documents and transaction receipts. Oh, go what's these? Alright, got it. Oh, go will have these docs. Is tomorrow not a good thing for you? Thanks, Larry, buddy. You'll be getting a big burden off our backs. I think there's nobody here yet, fortunately. There's another person I'm planning to call. Hi there. If it is in my sly bunny. <laughs> hey, my dumb fox. Hey, Carrots. How you doing? I'm great. I'm just back from my chef. How's the investigation going? To be fair, I wish you were here. I mean, I literally got a gut kick from the Sarge just for replying to Classic Hell. Turns out I'm right to be dead sick worried about you. I'll try sneaking in here tomorrow. Sounds like you need an extra partner. I know I will probably get some reprisal from Baga, but I can't let this kind of stuff happen to my partner. I appreciate it, Bun. I gotta hang up here since this is a payphone and inmates are not supposed to use it. But don't worry, I got a plan. See you. I can't wait to get out here. Me to do. Me to. It is time to wake up maggots. To the hall now. Get up, twat. Now. Hey, big guy. Leave him alone. And just who do you think you were to try stopping me? Wasn't that kid in your stomach enough, Fox? I am Officer Dick, Nicholas what are you doing? You're on a floor. Cover. 
Oh, what's so funny? You Nick Wilde in a cop. No way. Nick Wilde is always with that equal nuisance bunny partner of his. Great to my friend Bellwater, who's one of the biggest investors here, went into the frame. I see why you did that. You know, I believe it. So we got a knowingly confession from him. You're genius. She is not a nuisance. She isn't what you gonna do about the fox eye. What you gonna do about that? We gonna have a brawl here. I really hope Nick wins. Is he really Nick Wilde? Yes, Mike, he is. Wait, Joe, drill guy here. To what? Check it out, Stephanie. Is he really Nick Wilde? Yes, Joel, he's Nick Wilde, and I really hope Judy arrives here too to save us. <sighs> nice try. May this serve as an example to everyone. Now you, your wolf friend, and the three little brats known as Dora, Stephanie, and classic Kayla will do toilet assignment duty. Now, Whoa. let me get you back on your feet. How come this guy be that strong? I'm not trying to warn you, Wilde. His military training, so he fights are better than us. Seems he beat you up pretty badly here. I'm sure, like, I can't move my left arm now. Let me see it. Oh, stop! Sorry, you meant he definitely broke your arm. Embrace. You must keep your arm immobilized. I've had toilet cleaning duty. I will clean the one assigned to you. If the drill sergeant comes, you can pretend to be cleaning with your other arm. Also, I got in line with Hops Earl on today, just leaking it nearby after noon or night. I Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Sir, look what we found trying to sneak into the files room. That is interesting. Now who are you? Why are you here? Maybe it's your mom. This library of yours have some pretty interesting info. Very funny. A Russian we got here, don't we? Sent her to the interrogation room immediately. So looks like Putin decided to end his agreement with Smile Away by using this treacherous act. You chumps of the FSB are not trustworthy at all. I don't work for Putin. Then who do you work for? What are you doing here? Who sent you? What if I don't want to tell? Oh, you will. You will tell me immediately everything you know and did here or you're in for it. Yet, never. Oh, you will start telling soon. Wait till I'm back. Toilet cleaning. How outrageous. Like we were just supporting Nick. Yes. That stupid drill sock clown is going too far again. Let me out of here right now, 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 now. If you guys think this absurd, how about me? Lose having to clean toilets with a broken arm. I wish we could do a big prank on that idiot such as sending him to the BND logo of Doom. Hey, shut up and keep focus. These toilets aren't going to clean themselves. And Nick Pops! Thank God you're here. You'll have no idea what a win. Sweet cheese and crackers. What happened to your arm? Let's say, I got in a fight with the drill sergeant. And he broke it. I can't believe it. Well, all these claims are true. And I was sure I'd be dead sick worried about you. Well, here's your carrot then. He made a confession that Bellwether was not only a friend but an investor in this place. We're catching some very big fish here, aren't we? Well, Nick, the only plan we will be having now is bringing you to a hospital. I mean, partner, you have a broken arm. You can leave. That has to a fart and I... No, carrots don't do that. If they did this to me, imagine what they can do to you. I wouldn't forgive myself. I know, partner, but Bugger wants these documents. Look, like I said, I have a plan. I got Larry to get the documents he'll sneak in here by night. You know he worked in a secret facility before? All right then, well, since we're going to back into your, your normal clothes, if Larry has any problems, we hop into action. The, the only thing you'll be doing is communicating with Larry by this walkie-talkie. Sorry, Bunny. Us. I'm glad you're here. We got everything needed but the documents. Larry will take care of them. Hey, Wolf Art. Ready to get out of here. Can we go too? Yes, I can't deal with that drill clown any further. Yes, I don't see why not get your escape earlier. Girl, I'm dying for that. Carry on going out, okay? Where are you going this late at night? Oh, nowhere. Can I go with you? No. But I want to be curious on what you'll do. But you'd be interested in going. Look, it's dangerous. That's why I want to go with you. We've been partners as guards and we still. Wherever you go, I go. Pretty please let me go with you. Okay, okay, you can go with me. But please be careful. I don't want you to get hurt. Fine, let's go. Okay, so where are we going? Smile away reform school. Oh boy, I've heard terrible things about this place. Nick yeah, and you got all the evidence. And got some documents. That will be what I'll be getting. What you'd like me to do? Stay with them outside. They will be handing me a walkie-talkie. We can communicate through it. If things go south, 
You're gonna be lower, and you can help me. All right, we're here. You ready for this? Yes. All right, buddy, you know the drill. Sneak in the files room inside the administration office and grab the documents. After you get them, sneak outside and give them to us. We'll be waiting you outside. If you run into any problems, there's this red button here which will alert us. And we bust in for rescue. Copy that, Nick. You will get these documents without a hassle. You must be Larry. Um, yes, who are you? I am Nick Wild Contact inside here. He asked me to hand you this key to the files room. Much obliged, ma'am. Entered by the vent, you will end up inside a lounge that is closed right now. After that go through the classrooms and you will find an alternative secret entrance to the files room. Okay. My gosh, that's about the weirdest place I've been so far. I suppose this is the documents room. Lemma, take a picture for Judy. Here you are. Now let's bring these back to... Oh! Oh, my head. Looks like you finally awake, Husby. And don't even think about calling your buddies, because I got your walkie-talkie. Now you will tell me exactly where you came from. Why you broke in here. And who you're working for. I came from nowhere and for nothing. You better tell me right now or you will face severe consequences. I'm not telling you. Oh, you will start telling soon. Just wait till I'm back. I'm gonna learn all your secrets. I'll never tell you. We'll see about that. Um, hello. Who are you, lady? I am Natalka Romanova and I am a Russian agent. Russian agent? Do you work for Putin? No, I'm a dissident, actually. A double agent that works for MI5 and CIA. So you're technically a double agent, am I right? Yes, I'm a double inside the FSB. If that's not too intrusive, mind if I ask you what you're doing in a small way? My mission was capturing some documents showcasing illegal and corrupt deals of this place. Before my capture, I was able to briefly read some and seems the former mayor of your city, I think Belither is her name, was one of the biggest shareholders here. The current Russian government also has financial and military ties to this place. Judging by your face and since you're a wolf, I suppose you're from the Utopia. Yes, ma'am. And we gotta find a way out of here. I don't even want to think what that guy can do to us. That fool actually used weak ropes. Let me untie you, mister. Larry, but you can call me Lar. Alright, we should get out of here. How about the documents? I was able to get a copy of them hidden somewhere in here. I'll show you. Very smart of you. I better find my coat too. Here you go. Let's get out of here. Keep shooting. You guys did it. Sure thing, Wild. Good job, Fluff. Also, who's the pretty lady with you? Oh, well, her name is Natalka. I really love your dress. Were you an intern here? Sweet cheese and crackers lord, what happened to your face? Well, let's say, I was caught in the files room. And when I woke up, my walkie-talkie was no with me. You sweets, I'll be okay. Thanks, Miss Hobbs. I'm Natalka Romanova and I am a double agent inside the Russian Secret Service. I work for MI5 and I was gathering intel here when I was captured by the drill person. I found Larry there who was also captured by the same. We were fortunate enough to flee or captivity despite having a gunfight with some guards. I see. Well, it's time to put an end to this once and for all. I would like to know whether two wolves, the fox, and the Russian woman is said now or you'll get a warrant-style punishment. Freeze! You are under arrest for multiple counts of abuse harassment, aggravated assault, embezzlement conspiracy kidnapping. You have the right to remain silent. Any things that can be used against you in a court of law have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, will be provided for you. Do you understand the rights that I just read to you? You think that's the end of it, maggots? Just wait till I get back to you, Nick Wild and Judy Hops. Let's go home, shall we? It's kind of late. Indeed, can we watch a movie? 